What if I told you a man from India dreamed of equations that would one day explain black holes? Not a scientist from NASA, but a self-taught genius named Srinivasa Ramanujan. This man didn't study math. He downloaded it straight from the universe. He said a goddess whispered equations to him in his sleep, and when he woke up, they worked. No calculator, no university, just raw divine brilliance. He redefined pi and cracked infinity like it was child's play. While others solved equations, he wrote thousands of formulas that worked perfectly. He didn't learn math. He remembered it as if it was encoded in his soul. His formula for pi is still used in supercomputers today. Just three lines of it can calculate 15 digits of pi perfectly. He didn't compute. He talked to numbers like they were alive. Ramanujan believed numbers were alive. That zero and infinity weren't opposites, but reflections of the same divine energy. To him, math wasn't logic. It was God speaking through symbols. And then came his final letter. On his deathbed, he wrote to Cambridge about something called mock theta functions. No one understood it. Decades later, scientists realized those very equations describe black hole entropy. He literally predicted modern physics from a small room in India. Even his favorite number, one thousand seven hundred twenty-nine, hides magic. It's the smallest number expressible as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. He saw patterns in chaos, order in infinity. Today, his three original notebooks rest in the University of Madras, and his lost one, which was found in 1976, sits in Cambridge beside Newton's works. Ramanujan didn't just do math; he decoded the universe. There are more Indian minds who did the impossible. Subscribe, comment your thoughts, and share the story. Let's uncover them together.